I've been driving cab for almost three years. It's about the same time that I started growing up with the beard. Well, yeah, I've always kind of wondered about driving cab. It seems like an interesting thing to do and you know, part of our culture, the, the cab driver. And I never expected to do it this long. I will never be the biggest beard at the competition. And I always had a uh, certain length. Basically, it's a uh, genetics contest, so you have got the right genes to grow the beard down to your waist, and I experience a lot of beard envy, I'll admit it. You know, I've always been a competitive person. Bearding is just an outlet. I thought about it for a while, and I thought, eh, I could probably go to one of these contests. I decided to go to the one in uh, Las Vegas, because it was national, and I didn't realize that I was going to meet all these great people. And really what I found was bearding, as fun as it is to compete, uh, was really a community. It's pretty shocking when you see a, a group like that. It sort of changed the way I looked at my own beard. I didn't expect it. There were some great beards there. It's one of the bigger competitions. New Orleans for the Nationals up on stage. I swear my heart was going to jump out of my chest. And when they announced that I was the winner, it was really unexpected and wonderful. And I now felt a little bit more like a peer with these guys who wanted to go to have some fun at these competitions. Well, I think it makes me smile when I, I think someone asked me to be a beard boss because I actually don't think I have that great of a beard. When I think about being a beard boss, I think about all the guys that got the confidence to grow a beard because they saw my beard, or got the confidence to freestyle because they saw me freestyling and then they saw my beard and thought, well, he doesn't have that big of a beard. I could probably do that. Thank you.